Mr. Leander, I still can't believe you got fired. Wait a minute, have you been sleeping here all day long? Wait a minute. This looks like someone made out of still steel. I'm going to take a look at this. Hey, this machine records everything. It says, last controlled by the Little Einsteins. Oh my God, the Little Einsteins made a clone of Mr. Leander to get him fired. I'm so reporting this to Mrs. Clementine. Why, good morning, Mrs. Robin. What brings you here this time? Mrs. Clementine, I just found the evidence to prove it was not the actual Mr. Leander who destroyed Fox and Nick Really Rule and Friends Special Locker. Oh no, we're not going through this again. I don't think you get what I'm saying. You want proof? Well, look at the pictures I took on my phone. Okay, but if this is false, you will be on your second strike, and you'll be fired after your third. Oh my god, Mrs. Robin. You are right. It was not Mr. Leander at all. The little Einsteins made a clone of him to destroy Fox and Nick really rule and friends locker so he can get fired. I'm deeply sorry about this, Mrs. Robin. It looks like you were right. I will hire Mr. Leander back for sure, and you don't have either of your strikes anymore. You'll punish the little Einsteins, right? Most definitely. Now you get to class, and I'll deal with the little Einsteins. <coughs> Attention. The following people are to report to my office. Leo Einstein, Quincy Einstein, Annie Einstein, and June Einstein. Thank you. Hi, Mrs. Clementine. Don't hi, Mrs. Clementine, me, Leo, Quincy, Annie, and June. Now listen. Were you guys the one who made a clone of Mr. Leander and got him to destroy Fox and Nick really rule and friends locker so he can get fired? Tell me the truth now. Okay, as a matter of fact, yes, we were the ones who got Mr. Leander fired. We were tired of him teaching us boring stuff that is hard to understand. So we got our revenge by getting him fired. We're sorry, Mrs. Clementine. Leo, Quincy, Annie, June. How dare you do this? You realize you have caused a load of mayhem and almost got Mrs. Robin fired as well. You do not know how much trouble you're in right now. That's it. You are expelled. Go home right now. They did what? Oh. My. God. Don't worry, Mrs. Clementine. The little Einsteins will be punished super ultra mega time. Thanks for telling me. I will deal with the little Einsteins from here. Goodbye. Well. 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 The truth has been revealed. You guys were happy because you got Mr. Leander fired, weren't you? As a matter of fact, yes. We were happy we got a job well done. So that was how we became friends with Fox and Nick Really Rule and friends. In fact, we were the ones who got their locker destroyed. Please don't severely punish us. Absolutely not. We can't believe you got Mr. Lee in the fight. You do not know how much trouble you're in right now. That's it. I'm reverting the rules, and I am taking away everything in your room. Everything, including your rockets, have been given away and donated to charity. You guys are grounded until the sun becomes a red giant and makes life on Earth impossible. It's time to go to your new room. That's right. Your room has absolutely nothing. Not even a bathroom door. You guys will be wearing nappies forever, so let's put your nappies on. All right. Your nappies are on. You will be using the bathroom in your nappies instead of the toilet. <coughs> oh, hi Fox and Nick really rule and friends. Oh, you are the little Einsteins? Oh, okay. Leo, Quincy, Annie and June, it's for you. Leo, Annie, June and Quincy. I should have known it was you guys the whole time who vandalized our locker. You guys are so not our friends anymore. Look what telling a major lie leads to. 
and Daniel, if you hear us, you, your wife, and your mother-in-law will be paying for our new special locker. I can't believe you guys right now. I now have to pay for Fox and Nick Willy Rule and Friends new special locker. As for your punishment, you will not be allowed to leave this room under any circumstances. Have fun being grounded.